If you're still manually scanning the charts to find coins to trade, you're wasting time and missing profitable trades. In this video, I will introduce you to our recently launched Chrome extension, the Genium Screener, built for traders who automate and move fast, and best of all, it's completely free. Let me show you what you can do with it. To install the extension, find the Chrome Web Store link that you can find in the description of this video and click on Add to Chrome. Add extension, and you're good to go. You can click here and pin it so it will be easily accessible. The first thing you are presented with when you open the app is a screener. And here you can set two kinds of alerts, a screener alert and a coin alert. Let's start with the screener alert. Say that you want to trade coins on Binance that have more than 10% volatility in the last day. So the first thing we're going to do is check the columns that we need. In this case, volatility one day is already enabled and then we're going to select the exchange column. And here on the quick filters, we're going to write Binance. So exchanges contain Binance and then volatility one day greater than 10%. And you can see that we have uh, 18 results. In order to get notifications, we need first to save it as a screener and let's call it Binance. Hit save and we can adjust the alert settings here. But before we do, I'm going to show you also how to set up a coin alert. Uh, say that we want to set up an alert for this coin over here. And we click on the bell icon and then the first thing we're going to need to choose is a, a condition type and we have uh, supported several here, volume changes, price changes, market cap liquidity score, volatility, and all of that. And then above or below, and then the threshold. So say one and create the alert. Okay. Now, once you created the alert, you can click on alert settings, and then you're presented with uh, this screen and you can extend. Here, you can change the check interval to more or less often. And you can also set an expiration for the alert. By default, coin alerts expire after one trigger and a screener alerts don't expire. You can also set a time expiration here, but we're going to leave this as a fault. By default, browser notifications and sound notifications are enabled. And you can also enable these two sections, the webhook notifications and the Genium trading bots. Basically, the, both of them are uh, webhooks. So this is just the generic implementation in case you want to send webhooks to any service, Telegram, Discord, Slack. The first thing you need to do is to insert the webhook URL. For these tests, I'm going to use NA10. And here's my production webhook URL. We're going to test this. Okay, send successfully for this coin, which is our ARDR. So let's look for the execution and we can see that this one happened just now and we received the data. Yeah, ARDR. So it worked well. We have made it really easy for Genium users to connect to their bots. You only need to enable this last section and enter your bot UUID, which you can find after you save your bot and it's on the webhook config. This one I just created and I started it. And now we're going to use the UUID. We're going to copy that. And we're going to send the stop bot command and test. It was sent successfully. We can see that now you have the start button, which means that the bot is stopped. And if you refresh and go to the events, you can see that the webhook was received here. So that worked as expected. Now let's change the bot pairs. But to do that, we need to go to the screener alerts because the individual coin alerts don't support changing pairs. So we're going to expand here and in Ganium bots, we're going to add the UUID. And as you can see right now, Ethereum USDT is on the trading pairs. Copy this. Here, 
we're gonna change pairs and you have different modes replace add and remove so we're gonna replace the ethereum usdt with the test and on the test we're sending bitcoin i think so after we test this if we refresh the bot we should see the bitcoin pair oh okay so actually a few of them were there that's it that's how it works so that's all for today i hope you find the extension useful and i see you on the next video